Hello everyone. Today is Sunday. And it is a bright and beautiful day with blue skies and bright sunshine and the temps are climbing up and the humidity is climbing with the temps. That's why I'm so warm and I'm sweating and yeah, I had to go in and get paper towel to dab the sweat off my face, but that's okay because for the very first time, these tomato plants, I have had to come out and adjust these little arms that go across. I've never had to do that before. So they are growing. They are growing and they are really growing. I bet you that they've grown almost, I'd say 10 to 12 inches in the last week. So that's really good, except for the one. That one plant is still really struggling. So I'm not really sure what's going on because it's getting the same fertilizer, it's getting the same watering, everything is the same. But that one's just really struggling. So really hasn't grown but it's not like limp and <laughs> look like it's dying either it's just not really doing anything but that's okay I have the other three and they're beginning to, to to really look good and that that pleases me so anyways I hope that you will want to stick around for a little bit of my day and I will talk to all of you in just a little while Take a look at these beautiful daylilies. There is just dozens of them on this one plant. I love daylilies. I have them all over. Although, this is really the first one that's fully come into bloom. They're blooming a little late this year. Have any of you had to do this where you had to stick the flowers that you have hanging into a bucket of water because they've become so root bound that they're not able to hold enough water. So it's just kind of a, a way to keep them looking good, so to speak. And I read about this little trick last year because I couldn't figure out why one of my hanging flowers was just doing so poorly until I noticed that it was so completely root bound that there was very little soil and I went online and that was what there was a suggestion to do is to stick it in a bucket of water that way everything really gets saturated and yeah so I just stick it in a bucket of water for a little while and perk them right back up but I just wanted to take a couple minutes and let you know how everything is going well my husband is doing very well He's becoming stronger and stronger every day. And he had a really good report at the doctor, so that's all good. And as for me, oh man, let me tell you, Friday and yesterday was really difficult. Um, I was hurting pretty bad, and it was really hard to just do the normal stuff that you do, you know, and uh, I get up and go get a glass of water. I mean, really, it was just not a very fun day. <laughs> Two days, three days. <laughs> but God in his grace and his goodness, when I woke up this morning, I was just about pain free. And we've had a wonderful day. And no, I did not overexert myself. I mean, the hardest thing I did was, you know, get my face washed and take care of my hair and put on some clean clothes. That, that's about the hardest thing I did today. But yeah, it's been a really good day. It's been a real good relief that I'm not downing Advil and, and, you know, and that in order to deaden the pain, that it's just really subsided. Subsided, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> but anyways, I hope that you didn't mind that it was kind of a, yeah, this and that, not much of anything vlog today. But I hope that the way I feel today will continue throughout the week. I know I still got to rest because just because I'm not 
hurting quite so bad doesn't mean that everything's back to normal. So yeah, I, I need to give it some time and I will continue to do that. I will be good because yeah, <laughs> there was a couple things I did that I really regretted doing after I did them. <laughs> so that will not be happening for a while. But anyways, I hope that everybody is blessed through these videos and I thank you all for your prayers, for your support, and for your love. And I will talk to all of you in just a little while. today's devotion, I am going to be reading from the devotional called Our God of Comfort and Hope. And our verse today is found in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 34. For you had compassion on me in my chains and joyfully accepted the plundering of your goods, knowing that you have a better and an enduring possession for yourselves in heaven. Paul once wrote, If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. That's in 1 Corinthians 15, 19. If there is no life after death, no heaven, no promise of a better world, then life is empty, hopeless, with out meaning and without purpose. But this life is not all. Ahead is heaven. And someday we shall always be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4, 17. Someday we will go home where all is happiness, joy, and peace. How barren our lives would be if we didn't have this hope. Knowing heaven is real will make a difference in the way we live. For one thing, we won't become attached to the things of this world. We will say with Paul, I have learned in whatever state I am to be content, Philippians 4, 11. But heaven should also give us a burden for those who do not have this hope. Every day we meet people who do not know Christ. Are you willing to tell them about Christ? And with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it. And you would think with all the churches on all the corners in our cities and in our towns that everyone would know the good news of Jesus Christ and salvation. But truthfully, people don't know. And like I said before, there are people who don't even know that Jesus exists here in America. And some of them are our neighbors. Some of those are the people that we pass by as we are shopping. And we owe it to the Lord and to them to demonstrate Christ's love and tell them the good news. God bless, and I will talk to you tomorrow.